Hello, and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, some utilities that you can use from AOMEI Technologies Data Backupper software. Uh, I have done tutorials for them for Partition Assistant Home Edition. And in this one, I'm going to show how you can check your uh, backups to make sure the integrity is uh, okay. And I'm going to also show you how you can uh, explore the backup information without having to restore the backup. So let me get this program started. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it brings you up to the main window under Backup Management or Home tab. And as you can see here, I do have my backup that I've done in a previous tutorial. Now, I want to check this to see if it uh, has any errors to it. Now you can do it two ways. You could go over here to advanced and check image or you can go over here to utilities click utilities and then choose check image. Now it will give you a list of all of your uh, backup that it is uh, currently listing. Uh, you can also choose path and this will, uh, you can locate another uh, backup that requires checking. Uh, what we're going to do is select and then choose next. Now, what you can do, now if you have more than one backup, if you use uh, incremental or differential backups, all of them will be listed on here too as well. Uh, this here is only the one backup, which was a full backup. And all you have to do is select a point that you want to check. So if you have a list, select which point you want the software to check. Well, I'm going to select this one since it's the only one on there. And choose next. Now, it'll come up and tell you that it's checking the backup data. And it will, depending on the size of it, it will take a few minutes. Now, as you can see here, when it finishes, it says that the operation has been completed successfully and has not detected any problems. Now, you just check finish and it's going to reload the disk. Now you can also uh, click advance and then check image. And all you have to do is just select the backup you want to check, choose advance, and then go check image. Uh, the next one that we're going to show you is uh, explore a backup without having to restore it. Now this comes in handy so if there's something you're looking for you don't have to restore the backup all you have to do is look through it. To do that you can either uh, go to the advance of the backup that you want and then choose explore. So or you can go over here to utilities choose explore image Again, it will show you a list of the files that are backed up. In this case, you see my ES Repair demo. It's the only one that's listed because it's the only one there is. Uh, you can also choose Path to locate another one. And once you select it, you can choose Next. Now again, it will show you all the backup points. Uh, since I, this is the only one that's been made, it will only show the full backup. And the full backup is usually the original one. 
Now, if you did incremental or differential backups, all of those will be listed. And then you just select which time point you want to explore. We'll choose this one and then choose next. Now here what it's going to do is it's listing the partition. Now you can select the partitions if there's more than one in the backup as to which one you want to explore. Next it will tell you the filing system that it's using, the capacity that it, uh, of the drive that was backed up. Now here all you have to do is select a letter to use. And you can use any of the available letters. Well I'm going to go ahead and use O. Now once you select the partitions or disks that you want to mount and the letter you want to assign each one of them. Now remember you can only assign available drive letters. Once you have this done, then you choose next. It will uh, set it up to where it uses what's known as virtual uh, uh, drives. Now it'll say when it's finished that it's been successful. It'll say that the partition in the backup file has been attached to a virtual partition. This is what I was referring to. It creates a virtual uh, drive or partition. This allows you to look in it to see what it contains. And it says that you can now enter either My Computer or Open Windows Explorer. And if you want to detach the virtual partition from My Computer, you can click again, go to Utilities, and click Explorer Image and I will show you how to do all this but right now it has finished we'll choose finish and now it's been reloaded now we'll click start then computer now if you'll notice you'll find your drive letter here it's listed as O since that's the drive letter I chose and it's at the bottom here. Now it looks confusing but it hasn't been restored. All this is is a virtual uh, partition. It's only allowing us to look through it. And as you can see there it is. Now I can browse through the uh, backup and see exactly what's in the backup. This allows you to look at it. And as you can see, of course, a lot of these, there ain't nothing in them. And uh, I can go through there and see if there's what I'm looking for is in this backup. And if it is, I can go back and restore it. Now, once it's mounted into a virtual partition, once you're finished, you go back, choose Utilities, choose Explore Image, and here you can explore the image or detach it. And what you can do is select it, and it gives you two choices. You can explore it, or if you select it, you can choose Detach. Now, once it's detached, then it unmounts it from the operating system. As you can see, O is no longer there now. And that's all there is to exploring in backup image. Now you can explore, choose a different one, and continue looking through uh, backup images to find what you're looking for. And that's it.
that's all there is to it to check a backup image to check for errors I've shown you how to uh, explore through a backup to see if there's something on there that you're looking for without having to restore the backup well I'm your host Mr. Fixit this has been an episode of ES Repair thank you for watching